Hey there. Uh, today we're going to learn how to divide using an area model and partial quotients. Um, it's going to be very similar to the box method that we used when we were multiplying um, numbers using partial products um, in the area model, but instead of multiplying we're going to be dividing. So if I have a problem like 484 divided by 4, I'm going to break this number apart into its place value. So the 4 here really represents 400. The 8 represents 80. And the 4 represents 4. And I'm going to draw boxes around each one of those separately. And then over here, I'm going to pull out the 4 because that's what I'm dividing. And you should already notice that this looks similar to when we were multiplying using this method, the box method. Earlier when we were multiplying, the, prop, the uh, factors went on top and we multiplied to find what would get into the middle. Well now, in order to find out what's on top, we're going to divide each box by 4. So I'm going to start with 400 divided by 4, which is really just 4 divided by 4, which is 1, with two zeros included. If I come over to my next box, I'm now looking at 80 divided by 4. Well again, if I cover up my zero, I'm really just looking at 8 divided by 4, which is 2, with one zero. And then finally, in my last box, I'm just going to divide 4 by 4, and 4 divided by 4 is simply 1. Now in order to get my answer, I have to add all of these partial quotients together to get my final answer. So 100 plus 20 is 120, plus 1 is 121, and that would be my answer. Let's look at another example. In this case, we'll do 625 divided by 5. Um, again, I know I'm going to have to break my numbers into its place value. And since I have three digits, I know that I'm going to need three boxes in my problem. And then in each of these boxes, I'm going to place the place value or the value of each of these digits. So the value of the 6 in the 625 is 600. The value of the 2 is 20. And the value of the 5 is 5. And again, since I'm dividing by 5, the 5 comes out here. And now I can divide. 5 goes into 60 12 times with 1, 0. 5 goes into 20 four times, and 5 goes into 5 one time. And then again, I need to add all of these together, which would give me 125. I can always check my work by multiplying by the number that I was originally dividing by. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. And the number that I get here should equal the original number that I divided by.